Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this particular video, we're going to use the Quickster template uh, guide from Microsoft Azure documentation, official documentation, and we're going to create a virtual network using PowerShell. The only prerequisite is to have a free account with Azure subscription. You don't need any uh, your local environmental setup because we're going to use the cloud shell for the deployment. And um, so a lot of people don't know, uh, usually if I tell somebody to go to the cloud shell, they'll go to, go to their uh, Azure account itself and click on this tiny button and that will open up the cloud shell in the bottom pane, right? And that works just fine. If you wanna use this, keep using it, that's great. But this is another link, https cell.azure.com. If you go to that link, it's gonna give you the whole window as your command shell where you can try out your commands okay if you logged in it will still be logged into your default directory and you'll be able to do everything that you that you want all right so so here they're giving us both type of options how to do that and uh, what we want to do we want to deploy uh, our resources in one resource group Okay, and then we'll create the virtual network, add a subnet, and associate the subnet to the virtual network, and then we'll create the two virtual machines, okay? And once the two virtual machines are there, we'll connect the virtual machine to the internet. And uh, that's pretty much it. And we'll make sure the communication is happening, and by default, your a uh, ping which uses ICMP is is uh, is denied when you deploy this virtual machine. So we'll add a firewall rule, this one, by logging into one of those uh, virtual machines or maybe both of them and allowing ICMP ICMP v4 um, and uh, then we'll 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 end the lab at that time. Now. So we have in the previous lab, we used the portal to do the same thing and this time we're going to use the PowerShell and I have not deleted any of the resources. So what I'll do, I'll modify some of the commands just a little bit to change the resource group name to something else. So we have all those different deployments are still available to us. So let's get started with this one. Um, create a resource group. This command is uh, really simple. So if you look at it, new Azure resource group, that's makes sense. Name makes sense. I'm just gonna say uh, resource group name since this is gonna use a parcel. Um, Power shell and east US location. I had trouble, so I'm just gonna use east US two. Let's see if that works. And there we go. So we got a resource group and uh, come back over here uh, virtual network that uh, your uh, command is also pretty self-explanatory this is the real command and we're going to save all of the information back to the virtual network variable new ac virtual network it was new ac resource group now it's new virtual network resource group just you have to change that one because we have already changed our resource group name so we'll change that to um what powershell okay uh east us again we're gonna change that to east us2 and then um hit enter okay and again it shouldn't take too long maybe 10 more seconds and it should yeah it's done uh now once we have done a virtual network we can add a subnet and to do that, you can run a simple command, add virtual network subnet config. And again, this is the real command. Name is default, address prefix. You look at this, this was the 65,000 or so IP addresses and we are taking only 255 of, of about IP addresses and putting in that particular subnet. And we are going to associate or put that subnet in that virtual network that we created in the previous command. So we don't need to change any anything in this command. Just hit enter and we got 
things done for us. And the last thing, this is the way you associate the subnet to the virtual network. And we are going to run this particular command. Virtual network, uh, pipe, set, virtual network and hit enter. Okay, that should do the trick. So now we have network should be configured properly. So let's take a look at the Azure environment. Go uh, home, uh, resource groups. So what I would expect to see a uh, virtual, uh, sometimes if your resource group is not there, uh, click on the refresh button, okay? Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the resource group to show up. It's still not showing up. So let's go back and see what did we do uh, over here. Make sure that we created the right resource group. My resource group PowerShell. So let's come back over here. Yeah, there's a resource group. Okay, so there's a resource group. Click on it. Uh, in this one, we deployed the virtual network. It's there. Uh, if you click on it, there should be one default subnet in there. There we go. And uh, with this uh, subnet, and here the address space should be slash 16 10 000 16. That everything makes sense and looks good. I'm happy about it. Now, to create the virtual machines, it's also pretty simple. Click that one and go to our part, go to our partial window. Paste it, and here again we're gonna change. Um, I'm gonna change my location to East US two, and I'm just gonna not keep any gaps. Uh, resource group or shell. And uh, I, since I already have a VM1 running, I'm just gonna change this to VM3. And uh, as job means, it will give me the command line back to me, okay? So then hit enter. And I need a username. And I need a password, so. and it has started the deployment it gave me the command back so uh, what i need to do here i'm just going to change that uh, vm3 to vm4 and uh, everything else should be the same and i just hit enter create this username and the password again There we go, then both of them now running just fine. So just give a few seconds, a few minutes, maybe two minutes, and they should be ready for us and we'll start working on it. All right, it's been about a minute or so. Let's go back to a resource group and see what's going on in there. Here we go, and here is our resource group. It still doesn't, it's not showing anything. Again, I'm gonna refresh. And I see I have VM3, look at that, and look at VM4, yeah, look at VM4, both of them are running just fine. So that's great, that's what we wanted, so let's go back. So we have all of that now available to us. And uh, now we're gonna connect to those two particular virtual machines. So if you wanna get the virtual machine IP address, you can run this command. Uh, let's do that from here, so if you, click on that one and I really need the VM2 or no VM3 and oh, there is no VM3 in that particular resource group so update your resource group to PowerShell and hit enter there is my IP and we're gonna do the same thing for the other VM Right. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm just gonna go to four. <laughs> Again, I have to do. Power cell. And now, oh, stay there, stay there. Stay there, stay there, here. Change this to four and there you go. So this is one IP. This is for VM3. This is another IP for the VM4. 
Now to go to that one, I'm going to use uh, something called Remnia. Okay, I have two other virtual machines running. That's running. That's fine. Just create a new window. And uh, from this browser, let's go to our first IP, which is VM3. Paste the IP here. Uh, and based on what you're using, it, this login process could be a little bit different. So right now where I'm logging in, this is the uh, VM3, okay, and the uh, other machine is VM4, so this is also, I'm going to copy this one, and again, I'm using Ubuntu, and it's a, it's a client, it's called Remnia, so let's put that, hit enter so look at that there it's opening all those connection as a tab okay so this is all right so this one should take me to uh, where this one should take me to the VM4 so in this one what I'll do I'll expand the window okay and uh, we'll open up the partial to begin with because we know by default uh, these machines they don't they don't allow ping so from here if I if you do like ping then VM my VM4 it, you shouldn't get anything back because you, even your hostname discovery is not gonna be available to you so so you it's gonna it's nothing is gonna be available to you all right, just just uh, just as we expected, uh, it's not giving you anything, right? So we are inside the VM3. We tried to ping to VM4, which is 104, 46, 200, 130, and you didn't get anything back. So let's go to this machine, and uh, this is VM4. On the VM4, I'm just going to open up the PowerShell again. Come on, PowerShell buddy. And once it's open, uh, we're gonna open up our uh, our our rule. Uh, we're, we're gonna add this new net filter rule: display name allow ICMP4 in. I don't think I can copy paste, but let's uh, just go. So new, and then net firewall, and I'm doing a tab at this time. Let's see if it picks up sometimes it's a little slow net new firewall rule looks uh, then um, what are we doing we are doing display name this and I did uh, tab and then display name is allow ICMP v4 in and then protocol uh pro i need to do pro protocol and then again you, you provide uh, icmp v4 okay and then hit enter so what's gonna happen it's gonna tell you and it's now saying you allow inbound icmp traffic so from this to this connection we have just opened up so let's rerun this command over here and if you do it this time and you see that it's previously to you were getting timed out and now you are getting your packets back just fine and you know that this machine which is public at IP address is 104462130 must be having a private IP address of 10005 and you can verify that by going to your Azure portal okay and going to your virtual machine 4 where is my virtual machine 4 3 here and if you open up that machine and go to the private IP address it should it better have 10.0.0.5 so 
that's all in that we need to cover in this lab so we have in this lab created a resource group we uh, created a virtual network created a sub network and deployed two virtual machines and we proved that the communication between the virtual machine is flawless within using the private IP address all right thank you for watching this video and I'll give you some of the commands in the video and uh, you can do the same practice and be familiar with uh, with all those different uh, Azure commandlets like the new Azure VM uh, then your new easy virtual network new easy resource group and this is a pattern as long as you kind of familiar yourself and, and understand what they are uh, you should be golden again give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe and leave your valuable comments have a great day bye bye